everyone, it's Lynx with another Indie Game Collective Showcase. Welcome to... Shastye? <laughs> I pronounce it the way a probably German-speaking uh, person would pronounce the S-C-H. Um, Skastye? Not sure. Um... Despite my uh, the, my incapability of pronouncing this uh, right or wrong, there is a German option of this game. Um, yes, we're playing Chasse today. Um, a game made by Garag Garage Heathen. Um, Garage Heathen and uh, published by Missing Calm. We are about to dive into a experimental visual novel. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this game's atmosphere is going to be like, um, especially compared to the other um, Missing Calm game, uh, bundle games. Um, they all have their own type of atmosphere, but they do differ from game to game so i'm really excited about this and that's all i have to say let's start playing oof okay There's... There's no lights? Nice chair. Continue the story? you I'm not writing this <laughs> I started typing something thinking um we'd actually get to type something in here but it types instead of us 25th of April 2004 my name is Ivan Alexandrovich Yautov I work as a car mechanic in the Russian town of Nizhnevartovsk while in my free time, I enjoy coding and literature. I have been married for six years. However, four years ago, I had to part ways with my spouse. It didn't happen earlier due to the two kids we had. Do you know what a quin is? Quinn is a computer program that outputs Ooh. its own code. Quinn, I think. Perhaps a more romantic person than I would com compare it to a self-fulfilling prophecy. The divorce with Anna Matvevna Yautov has not made my life easier. The most difficult part of it all was not being able to see my sons, Misha and Andrei Yautov. 
At first, their mother would try to hinder our meetings. In any way she could. Then she took them and moved. To... To... Well, she moved to Nefte Yugans. Severing our contacts completely. Oh my god, I want to know what happens here, but I also want to check what's outside the door. Being left by myself, I succumb to the solace for which my nation is so notorious among the educated world. Vodka. My actions were caused additionally by a series of cuts in my place of work that resulted in me losing the job. After spending all of my remaining savings on alcohol, I had to move in with my mother, or I was not able to pay the rent. That was interesting. Good ending. What? <laughs> That's a good ending? I love it. But... Oh, there's a podcast. I want to try again. Андрей Воронин. Если же соль потеряет силу, то чем сделаешь ее соленой? Она уже ни к чему не годна, как раз. Oh, I didn't even see this. Упадок сакрального – это большая беда. Мне казалось, необходимо создание новых мифологий взамен тех, что стали дряхлыми, и теперь. Oh. Oh no. The game crashed. Oh. Steam crashed. No, it just closed itself. That was awkward. Pardon me? Um... Yeah, that was awkward. Continue the story. It's curious! Uh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It's curious how similarly our brain reacts to some neural stimuli. It is proven now that most of the lingual formations invoke identical neural responses in the brain of most people. I thought those were keys at the beginning. And she even unlocks if they're all that is. <laughs> Therefore, the reading of this text, for example, would induce the same neural reaction in almost any human reader. We were living on the ground floor. My poor elderly mo mom hardly left the apartment, which I started my while I started my morning 
of the bottle of Falca on the bench in front of our building. That way, I've soon found friends. The company was rather motley and consisted of squalid academic academicians, Afghan veterans unable to find themselves in civil life, Turkmen janitors and silent sinewy laborers who would spend their daytime at job site, occasionally beat their wives, Jesus, and drink heavily in the evening. The latter looked as though they were worn through condensation. On the gray concrete walls of this town, being the literal extension of it. One person stood out in pr among them. His name was Fedor Ivanovich Rybkin. I'm not exactly sure how he ended up in our company. Fedor Stepan Stepanovich had a stable job. Engineer at Tarhovsky LTD. I think there was a name change here. A two room apartment in the at Lenin Street, and as I have learned later, a small home library. When drinking, he never acted aggressively, never cried and complained. As a rule, his eyes gained some sort of a spark, and from a puny bald man, he would transform into a charismatic, almost inspiring figure. One wanted to follow him. I got to know him better last winter. In the evenings, our company would roam about in the neighborhood. We would hang out on the porches, playgrounds, and yards of, near of the nearby apartment buildings. That evening, a janitor called Maksut and his homeless friend Vanechka were having their usual fun, singing loud songs in the yard, terrorizing bypassing teens, and occasionally fighting each other. Fedor Stepanovich followed them quietly while I was hit by a tide of melancholy. An emotional characteristic for that period of my life. At some point, I just sat down on a frozen tire sticking out of the ground. Snow started falling. Wind was howling in the pipes. But high rises around the yard were hiding me from it. I still had a bottle with me. Uh, I still had a bottle with the remains of Talca in my hand that I that was gradually, gradually finishing. Snow sticking to my face has already stopped bothering me. My eyelids were heavy. It was harder and harder to keep my head up until I finally fell into a heavy crepuscular dream. I was having the usual murky visions that one experiences when under the influence. White trees that emanated quite, quite crackless, seemingly electrical, and na nature surrounded me. Restart? I don't want to. Okay, so there's several options, and I don't want to restart it. That being said, I like where the story is headed. I really want to. 
I really want to continue the story. So, if you want to continue the story with me, feel free to stay. Um, but shout out to the Indie Game Collective. Um, I will post the info to the bundle and to the games in the description box below. If you like this content in general, I'd be happy if you followed. Um, if you want to know when live streams are, make sure to follow Twitter. Um, Twitter.com slash elinks. E underscore links. And um, take care. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the story. Somehow I knew they were sycamores. It was hard to see anything as a wall of impenetrable darkness started at arm length. Aside from crackles, the trees seemed to emit a different sound. It was quiet, light music, so tender and strange that it had become instantly clear. It was not of a human origin. After wandering for several minutes or maybe days, I've stumbled upon an edge of that world. The stripe of white soil simply ended with a clear border. There was only darkness ahead. As I stepped past the margin, I've begun to naturally I've begun my naturally slow descent. I looked up and saw the world gradually revealing its underside. On it was an enormous creature, sitting in an insect-like pose. It looked remotely like a monkey, at a snake eyes and was wearing some sort of a mushroom-shaped hat. Its blue monkey lips were stretched in an uncanny smile, revealing a row of enormous yellow teeth. I woke up in an unfamiliar apartment. That wasn't a very big surprise. Suffering from hangover, I was struggling to identify whose apartment it was. The room was hardly furnished. All it had was a bed, on which I lied. A writing desk with a computer and a colorful poster depicting John Lennon? Of course it's John Lennon. Stumbling, I proceeded to, to the door. Bookshelves occupied the next room? A pillar in the corner stood a small wooden statue, depiction of a sort of a midget with a snake-shaped snake penis and a weird mushroom-like hat. A saucer filled with dry sticks of insect light before it. Wait a minute, what? No way! What was that last part that I didn't read?
Are these places called differently now? I didn't click the computer. I'm pretty sure I... Whoopsies. That's not meant to happen. My bad. I need to figure out. What the heck happened? <laughs> we were like, oh, we got, it's not even an ending. It wasn't an ending. It was just a, a computer crash. Made it to Fedor. Oh my god, I'm sneezy today. I don't know why. me I was a little sniffy but yes we've gotten this far so we fell asleep we this is basically us after dream I was having murky vision that one experiences when under the influence White trees that emanated, quiet crackles, seemingly electrical in nature. This is new, no? Surrounded me. Somehow I knew. Oh, okay. No, no, the sycamores, yeah. A type of tree. I didn't realize that before. I was like, what's a sycamore? Okay. 
Okay. The trees seem to emit a different sound. It was quiet, light music, so tender and strange that it became instantly clear. It was not of human origin. After wandering for several minutes, or maybe days, I've stumbled upon an edge of that world. It's the music, no? This trap of white soil sim simply ended with a clear, bo clean border. There was only darkness ahead as I stepped past the margin. I've begun my unnaturally slow descent. I looked up and saw the world gradually revealing its underside. On it was an enormous creature sitting Okay, wait, we've had this. Snake I wearing some sort of mushroom. Shaped hat, its blue monkey lips were stretched in a uncanny smile, re re revealing a row of enormous yellow teeth. I, okay, here we go. No, yeah, I woke up in an unfamiliar apartment. That wasn't a very big surprise. I was still struggling to identify whose apartment it was. The room was hardly furnished. I had a bed. On which I lied, a writing desk with a computer, and a colorful John Lennon poster. Stumbling, I proceeded to the door. Bookshelves occupied most of the next room. On a little pillar, the corner stood a small wooden statue. Yeah, that one's in this room. That is so peculiar. A saucer, this is what I didn't read last time, filled with dry sticks of incense lied before it. It emitted light smoke. I could hear the sound of something. Crying? From the kitchen. As I went there, I saw Fedder. Wearing an old morning gown. I was frying some eggs. Something from the Beatles was playing on the radio? I awkwardly asked where the toilet was. He pointed silently. As I urinated, I felt more and more uneasily. <laughs> what was that weird thing in his living room? Why did he bring me to his house? He must have known I had my keys with me. Strange explanations came to mind. Mostly homoerotic in nature, but swept them away bravely. Finally, after gathering up the courage, I returned to the kitchen. Even now, my memories of everything that happened in the next year are crystal clear. He turned out to be a decent man. He told me more about his job at Ta Tarkov, shared a story of his own divorce. Then he shoved his 
shoved me his library. Then he showed me. Oh my God, I'm so confused. Sorry. Less nippiness now. It's a rather strange collection. I saw hip. I saw a hip little book by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. One example of Shapa and Void by Victor Pelavin. Even a shabby Alazif by Ah Al Alhazred. However, most of the space was occupied by a collection of works of some Marcel Griot. For some reason, the name felt familiar, as though I have heard it sometime in my childhood. Fedor Stepanovich seemed somewhat surprised after I asked about the na nature of, of the work, but was kind enough to answer. Marcel Griot, maybe? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this was an anthropologist africanist known for his studies of the dogon people of west africa one can still acquire records of his expedition to senegal in 1933 as well as some rather unconventional methods used by Gro doing his research of the extensive and surprisingly sophisticated mythology of dogons about five volumes of his work are dedicated to a certain fam certain family of mushrooms used usually referred to as Teth. According to Rigor, Griot, in the very developed astrological culture of Dogons, this particular mushroom was known not only as a celestial projection of the star Sirius, but also as a physical embodiment of a certain nameless god. It is rather hard to make out the nature, what the nature of the nameless god is at least from Marcel Griot's en entries. Despite the numerous descriptions of allegedly real dialogues that took place between the author and the nameless deity, all of them appear to be very vague, filled with unclear vocabulary and queer metaphors. I was beginning to understand something. When I again asked about the strange figurine, instead of answering me, Peter Stepanovich led me to the room where I woke up initially he sighed and opened the table drawer there were a couple of tiny dry pill mushrooms with thin long stems lying there he offered me one of them After that experience, I have almost quit drinking. With the help of an older friend, I have found a new job, which helped my mother and me immensely. Another thing I needed money for were the experiments that Fedor Stepanovich and I were now carrying out. We acquired the teth mushrooms, that's what the mushrooms in the drawer were, through Rivkin's relative, a Soviet Africanist, he was sent on a scientific mission to Senegal under the order of the USSR. At the time... Oh, why am I out of breath? Well, the sale and use of mushrooms was not regulated in West Africa, so the relative was able to bring a large amount of them back as a souvenir. In his turn, Marcel Grohl was kind enough to describe the detail how, co how to contact the nameless god. Of course, the figurine I saw earlier depicted that very nameless god. Why did I talk? Why did I want to meet it so badly? I've never taken drugs in my life. May I want to? Maybe I wanted to get through to somebody. Oh, I get this weird feeling outside the gray colored garbage that was the universe around. I needed to complain to someone who wasn't compromised of the same nausea inducing substance as the world I lived in. I desired an answer. I wanted to know exactly why I would have been trampling this earth for 40 years already 
Fedor Stefa Stefanovich in his term was led by pure scientific interest. The first phase of preparations included a series of intense meditations. For hours, he would sit cross we would sit cross-legged, freeing our heads of endless quarrels that, ver that various inner dwellers of our minds would have been would have between each other. As we succeeded, it turned out it was just these quarrels that our minds consisted of. Knots would loosen up the ribbon that was our consciousness, gradually becoming unwoven and fall down in rings until finally disappearing altogether. The rest was easy. Each of us needed to take four grams of the teth mushrooms and build a means of transportation that would take us to the nameless deity. After discussion, we would have decided um, Gaada 2402 Volga would both because both of us were familiar with that car model. It was responsible for visualizing the hood and chassis while I was responsible for that while Fedor, Fedor Stepanovich dealt with the steering system and the car body. All right. This, I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, that being said, I'm going to end the video here. But I'm going to add another continuation video um, in the same playlist after this one um, for those who want to see what happens afterwards. Um, that being said, again, thank you very much and take care. Also watch the next part. I hope it's not going to be too long.